Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm your host MDT and today we're going to design a digital prep model with removable dies from a digital diagnostic wax up. I know it's a long word and we're going to design everything in one session. I'm going to get a new coffee and then we're going to get started. See you. <laughs> So welcome back. Here's the order form. I have already selected the antagonist, so I'm going to pick the first two and I'm going to click Excel Crown Provisional. In this case, I'm going to press Print. I have Pre-op Model and Ginger Roll separated at No. Click OK. Hold the Shift key on the keyboard. Press on number 11 and everything is getting copied. This way, I'm going to make um, them as a bridge so i'm hitting these little green dots and for the scan mode i'm using two stones in occlusion i press save and i'm ready to click design the cat module is going to load now and i'm ready to import the scans here notice that i'm importing the pre-preparation scan and the antagonist they are in occlusion i'm picking the top in the smile creator, I'm importing the images. I don't want to go too much in detail in the smile creator. I have a different video for this one. But here in the chain mode, I'm creating the new smile. And I can double check it in the smile creator. Notice I have the mirror tool on. So if I click one, two, the other one is moving as well in every direction. I press next and here in the provisional crown top, I'm selecting one tooth on in the occlusal surface. And you see these little balls on the gingival side. I'm bringing them a little bit in so the distortion is getting eliminated. Don't bring them in too much, otherwise the crown is getting too small and you got parts missing. Uh, click apply. And I'm going to do this for every other tooth. So from 6 to 11 here, I'm moved fast forward. And now we're going to have the insertion direction, the angulation. I'm going to make this to the long axis, have 0 0.7, 10, and 4. Um, notice that I have it on using library tooth. It's important. Click Next. And here I'm going to adjust my new smile a little bit. Click next and they getting it adapted to the form. Now I want to, I want to eliminate as much of the blue as possible so that I have a nice area in the crown bottoms. So I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to fill this up with the add tool just a little bit. You can also use the anatomy tool and bring it out a little bit. So I'm just using a little bit. I can morph it, close the black triangle here a little bit, add a little bit to the margin. It doesn't have to be so perfect, just a little bit. Double check the smile here, click next. And we don't want to adapt to the model. In the bridge section, I click the plus sign, apply to all. I know I get the warning, it's two small connectors, but that's okay. And my printed or my file for the print is ready. I'm going to click right click on save and tease for print or you can also mail it. I'm going to save the scene, yes, and use original location coordinating. So now I deactivate everything and I'm going to bring my crown bottoms in and they look like preps. So I right click on save save as and i'm gonna name them preps to add important yes and use original coordinates so once this is saved i'm gonna bring in my pre-preparation model again i'm gonna get rid of all these old preps i'm gonna deactivate them all one by one and i go to right click edit and i have straight through and now I'm marking all the tooth that I want to cut. So here I'm going to go all the way around. It's turning yellow. Same on the other side. 
all the way around, not too much on the contact area, be careful at the contact. Now I hit the, now I hit the shift button and keep it hold and deselect the area that I don't want to cut. I'm going to go here a little bit more at the contact again, hold shift, and I'm going to go as close as to the margin as possible, and I delete everything. So now I have a hole in there, uh, that's okay. Click on tools, add remove mesh, and select type, general, and I'm adding the preps now that I outsourced as a STL file. I'm adding this, and here they are. Click OK. Now right click on it. Again, edit meshes. It's an important step. Right click again and show triangle coordination. You see they're turning red inside. That's an important step. Otherwise, it doesn't work. Click OK. And I'm going to save the whole scene, the model with the cutout teeth and my preps that I imported. I'm going to save it as an STL as a model. Again, to tools, add remove mesh. Go to extra jaw scan and I'm gonna load the model that I just exported with the preps. So everything is in there, yes. Click OK and now go down in the export mode. You want to go to scan alignment. There it is. Click on it and you want to align the new prep model with the cutout model. So here you're gonna click on the papilla or files are similar and replace the whole scan data so you want to replace the one that you have imported with the one that you cut out the teeth so now you got a full model i'm gonna go to model alignment and i i use rapid shape bring it nice in the middle click ok and here i'm gonna go back to the menu and Play, platelet model design. So I'm going to go to a model. I'm going to make the in certain direction the long axis of the preps. I'm going to go to dice, bring everything down to the right. It's 0 0.6, 0 0.5. Unclick everything. Dice. Scroll down. No hollow model. Add pin grooves. No. And I'm going to run the model maker. There you go. Now, i get rid of this Jajor scan here a little bit. There's my model with the separate dice. So I can right click on the model and freeform model from the menu. You have to be in export mode for that. And with a smoothing tool, I go around and I'm going to smooth around the margins a little bit where it looks a little bit jagged. So click OK to apply it and that's it. That's my model here. Looks beautiful. Just for demonstration, I'm going to import another mesh here. I'm going to load a generic one load. I'm going to load the preps or no, sorry, I'm going to load the teeth that I want to print later on. So you can see that they fit perfectly in there. Make them a little visible and here they are. I have a model, a prep model with removable dies and a diagnostic wax up at the same time. I go on wizard mode again and I'm going to finish the whole thing. Um, fix, cut it, yes. There you go. There it is. Save, keep both files, yes. Let's exit it out and here's my model. So I open it up one by one. Here are all the single dice. I can print them all separately. And that's my file that I'm going to print. Or I, I can also mill it in wax, depending how I want to do it. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you really liked this and if you want to see more content like this, please leave a comment in the comment section and I will make more of these videos. If you have a special request for a video, let me know and I will do my best to make it. Stay tuned.